Hey what's up guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to connect your iPad to an external display. Now with a lot of people working from home or doing school from home, being able to have your iPad connected to a larger display is going to make things a little bit easier due to the increased screen real estate. Or you could just be someone that wants to connect it in order to watch content like the brand new Loki show, which I highly recommend by the way. Or you could even be someone that wants to just play some mobile games. Whatever the case may be, in this video we're going to find out how to connect connect your iPad to an external display, so sit back, relax, and let's dive into the video. Now one thing to keep in mind is you can add Bluetooth devices like a keyboard and a mouse to give you that desktop experience, and also for sound you might need a Bluetooth enabled speaker if your computer doesn't have built in speakers. So there's two ways to connect your iPad to your monitor. Method number one is if you have an iPad Pro you can actually connect it directly into a monitor that has a Thunderbolt port. This way is super easy, you basically just get the cord, plug it right into the iPad iPad and the other end right into the display, but I would say the majority of people don't own an expensive monitor with this port, so let's move on to method number two. So all you're going to need is a high quality HDMI cable and an HDMI adapter. For the iPad Pro and the new iPad Air, you will need a USB-C to HDMI adapter, and for iPads with a lightning port, you will need a lightning to HDMI adapter. I will link both down below if you do need to pick one up. Then all you do is plug the male end into the iPad and attach the HDMI cable on the other end and finally plug your HDMI cable into one of the display's HDMI ports. So after that's done, the display is going to mirror whatever is on the iPad and that's pretty much it for the actual tutorial. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful and like I said, if you do need any of the cables or adapters, I will leave some links down below. Also in my other tutorial videos, a lot of people like to know which monitor, mouse, and keyboard that I'm using, so I'll leave those linked down below as well. But I gotta say, using an iPad on a much bigger display, especially a 4K monitor, is a lot better for a lot of stationary work like myself I do a lot of photo and video editing and I find working on a bigger display makes it a lot easier but anyways that's enough from me thank you for watching if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe and other than that I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video